Well, very good news if you are Robert F. Kennedy Jr. or supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Not so good if you are Donald Trump or supporting Donald Trump. It all has to do with North Carolina. Let's start with how RFK Jr. himself explained it in a tweet where he said, quote, victory in North Carolina. The Democratic Party's lawsuit trying to knock us off the ballot was defeated. The judge, a Democrat, said it would be unconscionable to claim we used subterfuge when in fact the campaign complied with the requirements. What is it that is going on here? Well, the Associated Press has a write up. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. can remain on the North Carolina presidential ballot, judge says, explaining that uh, Wake County Superior Court Judge Keith Gregory rejected the preliminary injunction request by the Democratic Party to keep Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s name off of the ballot. And in addition to that, a federal judge halted the board's rejection of official party status for justice for all. That's the group under whose umbrella Cornell West was running. So why is it that this is bad news for Donald Trump right now? It seems much more likely than not that with the excitement that Kamala Harris and Tim Walls have brought to the Democratic Party, that Democratic support has really consolidated around Kamala Harris. And we have polling to this effect. On the other hand, Trump's continued glitches, confusion, slurring, autocratic and authoritarian leading tendencies have some voters concerned, not all, but some. And rather than stay home, some of them might say, I kind of like the idea of RFK rather than acquiescing and voting for Trump. Some would say, I kind of like the idea of RFK. And North Carolina is a particularly interesting state where this may be going on. If we look at the latest polling out of North Carolina, Trump is winning by an average of seven, 44 to 37, with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. at 6.8, Cornell West at 1.6, and Jill Stein at 1.2. We have anecdotal polling. I told you about a poll earlier this week, which has North Carolina tied between Harris and Trump. Realistically, even if Kamala Harris has one poll in which it's tied, realistically, especially looking historically over the last few elections, North Carolina is likely to go to Trump in a head to head matchup. And if you were able to get Robert F. Kennedy Jr. out of the way, it probably helps Trump by a couple of points. Uh, Kennedy's seven percent may becomes five to two from Trump supporters, would be Trump supporters, or maybe four and a half to two and a half or something along those lines. RFK staying in as an option is disproportionately not good for Trump in that state. And it's not that now it's a question of will Trump win or lose North Carolina, but it's if Trump has to fight for North Carolina, that is some amount of resource that cannot be placed elsewhere. So if you're RFK, you're happy. If you're a supporter of RFK, you're happy. If you're a Trump supporter, this is not particularly good news for you. And also not good news if you're Donald Trump is the broader discussion about his speech issues, which I want to talk about next.